For the first time ever, two top 15 teams will meet inside Williams Stadium. Saturday, 14th-ranked Liberty will host 7th-ranked Montana in a rematch from 2012. In the previous meeting, Montana Wildfires singed the air and the Grizzlies beat the Flames 34-14 on a smoky day in Missoula. It's a day many of the Flames remember quite well. It was like it happened yesterday. Um, just very foggy and, and you know, going out there and me being a freshman, uh, confidence was low, you know, going out there. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but as a defense as a whole, as a team as a whole, we've come a long way and we'll be much better prepared for them this weekend. We just really didn't believe in ourselves as a team yet. We started out that season 0-2 and that was our third game of the year. You know, we just weren't, our, our minds weren't right. But now I feel like, you know, we all believe that we have a great football team. We, we believe that... You know, we're the better football team, and we're just, we're just excited for the challenge. Flames quarterback Josh Woodrum echoes those feelings. As a freshman, Woodrum made his first career start at Montana. That day, he set a school single-game record with 34 completions while throwing for 322 yards and two touchdowns. Woodrum has been Liberty's starter ever since. Uh, for me, it's exciting. Um, you know, like you said, the growth and development that I've had over uh, the past four years has has been awesome, and uh, I'm really excited to go out there and just uh, you know have a good game and uh, lead our team to a victory. Like I said, we take everything one game at a time, but I mean we're definitely really excited for this game. This is a playoff matchup early in the season is the way I'm looking at it. We got to get this win. This is a must win if you ask me. A win won't come easy for the Flames, who see this as an opportunity to make a statement. Through two games, Montana is averaging 501 yards of offense under new head coach Bob Stitt. Stitt's high-tempo spread attack features a first-year starting quarterback, six foot seven inch Brady Gustafsson. The junior leads all of FCS football with 394 passing yards per game. They're a great offense, you know, and with the new head coach and the success that they've had early on, you, you, you normally would hope that with a new staff coming in, they would have some growing pains. I think in the first two games, I haven't seen a lot of growing pains that they are having. You know, Montana runs a hurry up offense and with West Virginia hurrying up a little bit, it gave us a little, little taste of what we're gonna have um, to look forward to this week. And um, of course in practice, we're gonna work on it a little bit, but that, that helped us a lot. By us, playing the first two games that we have with as young as we are just to see the look in the guys eyes that that's what's encouraging to me is just the guys are not backing down guys are really wanting to get better and you see improvement each and every game defensively Montana runs a 4-3 scheme and during its open date last weekend the Grizzly D line got healthy defensive tackles Caleb Kidder and Zach Peavy are both expected to play on Saturday Liberty's offensive line, which didn't allow a sack at West Virginia last week, will be tested. Montana led the Big Sky and ranked seventh in the nation in sacks per game last year. We have to have them to be trying to match our intensity, not us trying to match their intensity. Uh, I think if that's early on, uh, whether which team is trying to match somebody's intensity, I think that's going to tell you what's going on in the trenches. It's going to be a good matchup. It's going to be a really good matchup because I think they got some strength. I think their biggest thing is they got good quickness and they can get off blocks and they can run uh, as far as their front four. They're not big guys, uh, but they're athletic and they can run and try to get off blocks. Flames saw considerable improvement in their offensive line play from week one to week two. Quarterback Josh Woodrum also pointed out that's probably because the Flames actually had some game film to watch on West Virginia in preparation as opposed to week one against Delaware State. On the injury front for Liberty, most notably, the Flames will be missing tight end Kendall Kuman for the remainder of the year. He underwent knee surgery earlier this week. However, on a bright side, the Flames do expect to get defensive tackle Nolan Spicer back out onto the field. He missed the first two games of the year with an undisclosed injury. Also, another note for the Flames defensive line, Chima Uzuwihe, just a half sack away from breaking the Big South's all-time sacks record. Now on the other side for Montana, this will be just their third trip east of the Mississippi since 2009. They've lost their last four trips east of the Mississippi, but when asked about the travel earlier this week, head coach Bob Stitt said, there's no excuses. We're going to see different curveballs all year long, and our team's going to have to adapt and handle it. In Lynchburg, for the Liberty Flame Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.